Hello and welcome back. We're going to talk today about knives. A while back I done a review on my QSP, my everyday carry knife. Little bad boy right here. Today we're going to talk about some other knives. One knife right here, it's an old timer. A little case with it, belt loop, a little thumb release on it. This knife right here, I use this as my hunting knife, whether it's deer, squirrel, whatever. I'm taking this when I go hunting. The blade length on this thing is 3.99 inches. The weight is 5.92 ounces. The overall length is 8.58 inches. I got this a long time ago. Well, it had to be at or after 2015, because this 2015 limited edition. These retail Midway USA for $21.99. This is a real good knife. Will hold its edge real good. Nice thick handle. Nice thick blade. Um, the blade stamp is 1520T. I guess that's, that's something to do with the, the material of the blade. I don't really know, but real good, nice handle. Real good, as you can see. You get a good grip on this thing. It will hold an edge for skinning deer or squirrel. I use a lot of skin squirrel with love this little knife right here. When I'm not using this, it goes back in the little metal case it come in. Old timer. The next one is a Smith & Wesson HRT. We used to call these boot knives back in the 90s. Got the little clip here, plastic handle. The weight of this knife is 7.7 .7 ounces. Overall length is, of the blade is 4.7 inches, and the overall length is 9 inches. These retail from Midway USA for $16.99. Double-edged, plastic handle. Real nice knife right here. This knife really surprised me with some of the, I've seen some of the stuff Smith & Wesson's come out with, and I just don't really care much for all that fancy knife with the flashlight and stuff like that, but on the back of this uh, knife blade, it's SWHRT95. I guess that got something to do with the um, material of the blade. Double edged on it. I had one of these that was not double edged, and I broke the clip on this. And I reordered the same knife, and lo and behold, I got a double edged one. I really like this knife right here, too. Nice handle on it and get a good grip on this thing right here. Real nice knife. And it will go in either way in the sheave here, the case will go either way in it. Another knife here is one of them concealed knives. This is called a hideout. A secure X, hard plastic case, got the little metal chain here put right in it. It's also got holes up and down through here if you want to secure it to your boot, your pack, or whatever you want to secure it to. Plastic handle. The uh, overall length of this thing is 6.5 ounces or inches the length. The weight is 1.9 ounces. It's got three inch blade. Uh, these retail Midway USA for about 19 bucks. This little knife right here, I ordered it when I seen it online, and it has really surprised me. I packed this knife a few places. It's a good knife, double edged, double edged. It will keep a sharp point on it, real sharp point. The blade itself, it's just outstanding. It's made in Taiwan, cold, it says cold steel. Uh, the handle is rubber. Real nice something to hang on to right there. Real nice knife. You can pretty much put this knife anywhere you want to. And it'll go in either way. If you got this thing hid in your on your necklace underneath your shirt, you know. But think about if you wear it underneath your shirt, it, you're gonna see this part right here will bulge out a lot when you're wearing this thing, especially when you bend over. But all in all, this is a good knife. It really surprised me. Another knife, well, I wouldn't call this a knife. I'd call it something else. This is called a push dagger. This is from Blackhawk. It is also a necklace knife. Got little holes in it if you're going to put it anywhere you want to. This thing here is called a push dagger. It's a Blackhawk X 
SF push dagger. Didn't focus in there. This thing will not cut you. I don't care what you do. It ain't going to cut you. This is a push dagger for one reason. You grab this thing like this. And you pull out. It's meant to push into something. That's what I call a push dagger. You push it in. More or less shank somebody. Probably use that tip too as a screwdriver. But anyway, um, the blade on this thing is 3.85 inches. Their overall length is 5.27. The blade is what they call a zero ground plane edged. But this thing right here, if you want to grab that thing like that, it will probably do the damage to something. The whole, um, from the tip all the way back here, it's the whole thing is metal except for the little handle right here. And it's hard plastic. This thing right here is made in Taiwan, of course, but a good little chunk of steel right here. You can take that thing anywhere you want to. Good concealed weapon. And, um, I'm talking about right here, but like I say it ain't gonna cut nothing. You might be able to sharpen a pencil with, I don't know. And this one here, I've even tried to sharpen it, put an edge on it, but a few different things, and it ain't just going to happen. You're not going to put an edge on this thing, at least I can. That's a good little handy knife to have. Let's say on your, you know, necklace, you go out somewhere, you just need two women, you know, you bring it back and cut into something. But good little carry. Next this thing here. I like this one right here. Now, if I have my choice between these two right here, well, I'm gonna choose the one like this. You can, you know, you had to swipe, and it, it is going to cut. That's about all I got for my little knife collection today. I know I got some more somewhere. Y'all stay tuned, have a good day, and a safe drive, baby.